Okay, Langston Hughes. It's um, obvious that he did this one. Um, this neglected parts of his, uh, what he said, neglected body of work that he did from like 54 to 60. And it's believed that perhaps this particular call of Ethiopia was done around that time. I always want to share it with y'all. And if anybody has any more information exactly when this particular poem of Langston Hughes was done, um, please share it with all of us. But we're going to share it with people who haven't heard. Call of Ethiopia. You understand? And this is called one of the anti-colonial poems calling for third world liberation, call of Ethiopia, as well as roar China. All right. And in the call of Ethiopia, here's what Langston Hughes, here's what Langston Hughes said. Call of Ethiopia by Langston Hughes. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Ethiopia, 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 Ethiopia. Okay. Call of Ethiopia by Langston Hughes. Ethiopia, lift your night dark face. Abyssinian, son of Sheba's race. Your palm trees tall and your mountains high are shade and shelter to men who die. For freedom's sake, but in the wake of your sacrifice, may all Africa arise with blazing eyes and night dark face in answer to the call of Sheba's race. Ethiopia is free. Be like me, all of Africa. Arise and be free. All you black peoples and all peoples of the world. Be free. Be free. This is the hope that we, who have been transported to the West against our will, this is the hope we hold. As we have always said, among the Rastafari brethren. Thank God that Ethiopia survived the colonial ravage of Africa. Thank God to the brave Ethiopian patriarchs whose blood was shed for the defense of freedom and to keep black people free from total annihilation and loss of our liberty. Had not Ethiopia expelled the Italian colonizers? Then the hope for liberty for us slave folks stranded in the West would always be nigh. So when we speak of Emperor Haile Selassie I, he is the foundation of our freedom. He is the foundation of our hope. And he is the foundation of humanity's liberty. This is what we know. For we are living testimonies to his love, to his grace, to his majesty, and to his goodness. The lives of great men, as they say, all remind us that we can make our lives sublime and leaving behind us footprints in the sands of time. Truth will always claim the victory over evil. And in this we place our hope, the goodness in us, the Christ-like goodness that dwells in each of us has to overcome the satanized negativity which also dwells in us. And it is only this pristine hope which is embodied in Emperor Haile Selassie the first can we hope for this salvation and this redemption quote today we are assembled here to express our profound love and eternal gratitude to the great son of Ethiopia the principal architect of the OAU the symbol of African unity and also freedom and pride not only to the black race, but to all who have experienced bitter subjugations irrelevant of race or religion. That great son of Ethiopia is none other than the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, father of African unity, elect of God, king of kings of Ethiopia, universal defender of the orthodox Tawahedo faith, 
custodian of the holy ark of the covenant my lord of lords his imperial majesty Haile Selassie the first love never dies it survives the test of time and turbulations and grows finer with age like a fine wine we love you eternally your imperial majesty as a rule history does not make the man but man defines history like president john f kennedy said and i quote your imperial majesty you have an assured place in history in your lifetime end quote we admire you your imperial majesty respect is neither given nor deny it is earned and so we respect you now and forever your imperial majesty taken from the call of ethiopia by langston hughes